carrier gas. By Junaud. Introduction. Carrier gases for GC. In GC the carrier gas is simply stated as just a carrier to transport the vaporized solute molecules through the column during the partitioning process. The carrier gas, mobile phase, for gas chromatography should be an inert gas that does not react with the sample components. The GC carrier gas should contribute minimally to the partitioning process. This differs from the mobile phase in liquid chromatography. Conti. Carrier gases are compressible gases that expand with increasing temperature. This results in a change in the gas viscosity. The selection and linear velocity of the carrier gas will affect resolution and retention times. Carrier gases should be inert to the stationary phase and free of detectable contaminants. Carrier gas. Nitrogen, helium, and hydrogen are the most commonly used carrier gases for gas chromatographic analyses. Helium. Most common and compatible with most detectors. Better resolution, smaller plate heights. Solutes diffuse rapidly smaller mass transfer term. N2. Lower detection limit for a flame ionization detector. Lower resolution and solute diffusion rates. Conti. H2. Fastest separations. Can catalytically react with unsaturated compounds on metal surfaces. Can not be used with mass spectrometers. Forms explosive mixtures with air. Better resolution, smaller plate heights. Solutes diffuse rapidly smaller mass transfer term. AR. Important for ionization detector. Relatively low cost. Simple purification. Conti. If the stationary phase is thin enough, 0.5 um, mass transfer is dominated by slow diffusion through the mobile phase rather than through the stationary phase. In other words CSCM. For a column of a given radius, R, and a solute of a given retention factor K, the only variable affecting the rate of mass transfer in the mobile phase is the diffusion coefficient of solute through the mobile phase. Diffusion coefficients of solute, H2 He and 2 decrease in CM respectively. Diffusion coefficient. Comparison. H2, He and N2 give the same optimal plate height, 0.3 mm, at different flow rates. H2, He give better resolution, smaller H, than N2 at high flow rate because solute diffuse more rapidly through H2, he than through N2. Faster separation can be achieved with H2 as a carrier gas, and H2 can be run much faster than its optimal velocity with little penalty in resolution. Flow rate increases N2 he H2. Conti. As the carrier gas changed from N2 to he to H2, resolution increased and analysis time decreased. Purity of carrier gases. Impurities, particularly O2 and H2O, can chemically change the liquid phase and thus the TR and reduce the lifetime of the column. False peaks may appear. Liquid stationary phases, polyesters, polysiloxanes, polyamides, degrade by O2 and H2O. Contaminant from column may desorb in H2O causing a high detector background, baseline drift and noise. Purity should be 99.995%. Molecular sieve trap between cylinder and column is used to remove H2O and hydrocarbons. Sieve should be regenerated after each gas cylinder by heating at 300C for 3HR with slow flow of N2 or H2. Diffusivity Diffusivity provides a measurement for the diffusion speed of a solute vapor in a given gas. For helium and hydrogen, Diffusivities are similar, but that of nitrogen is about four times lower. The diffusion speed of the solute in the carrier gas determines the speed of chromatography. Efficiency effects of carrier gases Carrier gas linear velocity plays a significant role in the resulting efficiency of a chromatographic system. 
the optimal carrier gas linear velocity is characteristic for each gas, Van Deemter curves and Golay plots are used to demonstrate optimal carrier gas linear velocities. Golay plots are used for capillary columns, open tubular. Golay plots Van Deemter equation H equals A plus B slash plus C. HETP has also been used for H. A is the eddy diffusion term. B is the molecular diffusion term. C is the mass transfer term. Is the carrier gas linear velocity. Carrier gas viscosity. Carrier gas viscosity is a temperature dependent parameter. As temperature increases, the viscosity of the gas increases. When using a constant pressure mode for carrier gas and temperature programming, the viscosity of the gas will increase and the average linear velocity will decrease. Comparison of two results. Next figures demonstrate the effect of carrier gas linear velocity on the time of analysis and the efficiency of the chromatography. Helium carrier gas is near optimum linear velocity at 25 cm slash section as shown in the first figure. The analysis time is approximately 14 minutes and the percent column efficiency, CE, is 86%. When we double the helium carrier gas velocity to 50 cm slash section we now decrease the analysis time to about 7 minutes and also see a significant reduction in the column efficiency to about 43%. Separation of a kerosene fraction using hydrogen or nitrogen as carrier gas at the same average gas velocity, 40 cm slash SEC. Safety concerns with carrier gases. Nitrogen and helium both are compressed gases and can cause asphyxiation if rapidly released in a small confined area. Hydrogen is combustible over a concentration range of 4% to 74.2% by volume. Combustion can occur due to rapid expansion of the gas from a high pressure cylinder. Hydrogen is a highly diffusive gas in air. Hydrogen generators have automatic built in shutdown devices when a leak is detected. Summary. Carrier gases in gas chromatography are used to move the solutes through the column. Helium, hydrogen, and nitrogen are the most widely used gases. Nitrogen provides the best efficiency but is extremely slow. Helium provides good efficiency and analysis times but is an expensive choice for a carrier gas. Hydrogen provides the fastest analysis times over a broad linear velocity range. Temperature programming changes the viscosity of a carrier gas resulting in a decrease in linear velocity slash flow over the programmed range when run in a constant pressure mode. Hydrogen is the best choice for GC due to diffusivity and a broad working range as long as safety concerns and proper controls are in place. Thank you.